guys today we're going to be taking a look at the l2 flying boss so uh different than my much more straightforward videos uh we're going to be running the same team i always run and this will be obviously the open uh and then you'll look and i will move all of my units next to uh makotep to make sure that i have maximized movement the boss moved to a place where uh, I have tiles surrounding him, two for uh, my units. You want to make sure you uh, move your Alderaan in first, obviously. We're going to summon our Scarabs. And then we'll go ahead and we will uh, summon from... This spot where none of these summons are going to be able to reach Yark from high ground. So we'll go ahead and summon from here. And we can hit with him. And then uh, these three tiles, these four tiles are actually considered all the same elevation. This nest is not higher elevation. And you can see uh, from here the boss could move one, two, th three, four or one, two, three, four. And so you actually have to sacrifice some damage here and uh, move there. And that is your, your best way to guarantee that the boss is not going to move on you so that you can get your hits with, El uh, with Eldron in place and all of your units. Um, now, sometimes what ends up happening here is you end up getting... Um, and obviously Makotep has to be here so the boss doesn't move to this middle zone. Um, now yeah, sometimes what ends up happening here is you end up getting some scarabs that start to multiply out here. Now if that happens, sometimes you can end up moving back in. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack from there. Sometimes you can end up moving back in with uh, our tomatoes. Um, Sorry about that. Forgot to do my do not disturb. Uh, so now I have an opportunity to move up here, uh, allowing me to move into melee range for a significant uh, 1,000 increase. Normally, being in melee range with Yark is only like a 50% increase, but because it's an extra hit, it gets the extra 347 damage on that hit from Eldron meaning that having Yark in melee uh, is a significant increase over having him in range compared to before when we didn't have El El Eldrion. Uh, the same with Archimedos, uh, ideally. So, But right now, Archimedos still can't move. Uh, as these guys start to get a little scary here, we're, we're going to go ahead and swing up with our Eldrion uh, just to make sure that he doesn't get within range of some units here pretty soon. And there's no high ground for those units to come out of. One, two, three, four. Okay, no. So, uh, I'm going to let the boss move here to low ground if he wants to. Because that works for me. <laughs> so, uh, now the best thing I can do question becomes if the boss moves there to low ground is there a position i can put eldrion in that uh that keeps me two away from where the boss is right now if it doesn't move two away from the boss if he does move the answer is no i don't see a, a tile that would be two away even if i move our tomatoes uh that's three away from the boss currently obviously as we've seen um we don't want the boss to move up top to here um oh that that top part's not a tile okay that's not a tile above this so there's no fear of that uh the only fear would be the boss shifting to these two tiles with one foot right here so uh so to prevent that we'll we'll go ahead and move aleph newell up again more beneficial to keep the boss in one spot than it is to get the high ground just to guarantee that everything stays consistent uh, and what are we looking at? Two rounds left. Yeah, we'll go ahead and swing and pass turn once again. 
boss doesn't move. Eldron cannot find a high ground, but we're going to move here. We are going to move. So that's not even high ground. The high ground increase for this is just under 600. High ground increase for this is a little over 700. So giving the high ground to Yark makes the most sense. This looks like it should be high ground, but it's not. Uh, and then we will finally go ahead and move in with these other units. We're gonna go ahead and finally use our Makotep active. Doesn't get us any damage, actually it was a waste. Uh, would've been better just attacking the boss. And looking, we're at 70K. Uh, you can see at the level I've achieved here, the floor is pretty low and the ceiling is pretty high. This could go anywhere from 1,000 damage uh, to 5,000 damage. Um, and we'll see what we get. Oh, about 4,000, not bad. So, uh, yeah, there's a flying boss, Gilderay Run. A couple of you were asking for that, so I hope that helps.